Hello traders, here's another compilation video of my favorite covers. These are the covers of the week for October 4th, 2020. I do these videos on TikTok daily and bring them all together for my YouTube channel. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and share for more videos. Hello traders, today is Wednesday, time for your Marvel cover of the day. For this week, I'm choosing Strange Academy number three, the one in 25 re retailer incentive variant cover, uh, covered by Ryan Otley. And this is a story written by Scotty Young. Um, I've been on Strange Academy since issue number one. It's a fantastic story introducing a lot of young, um, interesting characters into the Marvel Universe, as well as the, uh, the staff of, of the school. Um, I love Otley's use of color and the way he makes these characters vibrant and come to life is spectacular. Uh, by far the best of the of the variant covers this this week. Um, really like the Doctor Strange Alex Ross cover, but this is my preferred Doctor Strange one in twenty five incentive. Hello traders, today is Tuesday. Time for the DC cover of the day. Uh, today's cover is Dark Knight's Death Metal Multiverses and number 1B. This is the 1 in 25 Retailer Incentive Variant Cover. Cover by Arthur Adams, story by James Tinian, art by Juan Gadian. So in this book, we've got all of the uh, players from the multiverses coming together. And Rodney Rabbit from Earth-26 is predominantly displayed right there on the cover. He's kind of the uh, Superman of that world. So Dark Knight's Death Metals Multiverses End Number One. Hello traders. Today is Wednesday. Time for your Marvel cover of the day. For this week I'm choosing Strange Academy Number Three, the 1 in 25 re retailer incentive variant cover. Uh, cover by Ryan Otley, and this is a story written by Scotty Young. Um, I've been on Strange Academy since issue number one. It's a fantastic story introducing a lot of young, um, interesting characters into the Marvel Universe, as well as the uh, the staff of, of the school. Um, I love Otley's use of color and the way he makes these characters vibrant and come to life is spectacular. Uh, by far the best of the of the variant covers this this week. Um, really like the Doctor Strange Alex Ross cover, but this is my preferred Doctor Strange one in twenty five incentive. Hello traders, today is Thursday. Time for your independent comics uh, cover of the day. Uh, this week I chose Spawn number three ten. Uh, this is the Ninja Spawn variant cover by. Todd McFarlane, um, <clears throat> and I believe story by Todd, but yes, story by Todd McFarlane as well. Uh, this is both the full color and the black and white sketch cover, um, obviously the same color. I've always been a big fan of Todd's work. I, I love his line work especially. He seems to add details where nobody else could have ever imagined them. So, uh, this is definitely out of the four or five covers for this book, the one that I really like. If you're not on Spawn right now, you should be. Uh, cover price at $2.99 makes it well worth the buy. Spawn number 310 Ninja Spawn variant. Hello traders. Today's cover of the day is Vampirella Milestone Issue number 100 by Warren Publishing 1981. What I really like about this particular cover is it kind of has the feel of an early 70s Hammer vampire feature, one of those old Dracula movies, um, if you're familiar with those. The softer colors and montage of former covers um, <clears throat> dotting the cover, I, I think is really a standout for this one. Um, cover. The cover features montages, like I said, from all past covers. It's an uh, anthology book and includes Vampirella Called the Chaos, The Origin of Vampirella, Shadow of Dracula, and When Wakes the Dead. Hello traders, 
Today's cover of the day is Decease, Dead Planet, number one. Um, this is the movie homage cover, um, modeled after the 1982 movie poster of uh, Harrison Ford to Blade Runner by Ridley Scott. This cover is by Ben Oliver and does a really good get job of capturing the feel of that with Wonder Woman and um, Constantine with Dr. Fate in there. Uh, like the darkness of the cover um, and the way that they've really done a direct swipe from the original source material. If you're not on DC's Dead Planet, that runs almost over. It'd be a perfect time to pick them all up. You can still get most of them at your local comic st book store for cover price. Hello traders. So it's Sunday and it's time for your cover of the day or covers in this case from my personal collection. I bring you Blade Runners issue one and two from Marvel Comics. This is a direct adaptation from the 1982 Ridley Scott movie starring Harrison Ford. Not the Philip K. D Dick book, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? So don't get the two confused. Um, the, the original novel, original source material is a good read. I recommend go out and find you a, a soft cover someplace. Sit down and give that a good read. Um, this has been adapted by Archie Goodwin with art by Al Williamson, Carlos Garzon, Dan Green, and Ralph Reese. Uh, it is only a two-issue series, so they're both here. So Blade Runner from Marvel Comics.